Hi everyone and welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, you're amazing. And I just wanted to run through this week that I've had because as you all know, I've finished placement now. I haven't got that much to do other than my bank shifts and things. So I'm gonna tell you what I've been up to this week. So on Monday, I was supposed to have a photo shoot at the university, but as I was leaving the house, there was a bit of a flood in the garage. So I had to deal with that and I missed the photo shoot and I had to email people and it was really awkward, really, yeah, it wasn't good. So I didn't go. So I spent the day watching Netflix, basically. Oh my God, if anyone out there has watched The Haunting on Hill House, put a comment below, tell me, it's amazing. I've got two episodes left and then that's it. I've been binge watching it since Monday. Um, it's, it's good, it's really good. I mean, I'm a bit of a wuss and I get scared by things, but actually this isn't too bad. Although the last episode I watched did creep me out a little bit and I didn't sleep very well. But apart from that, it's really good. Please watch it. Anyway. So yeah, so I was off Tuesday and the only thing I had to do on Tuesday was meet up with the other buddies. If you remember from my last vlog, the international students vlog, where we had this amazing week, we all got together, we helped out the international students, we had loads of dancing and things like that. It was fantastic. So yesterday is a thank you because it was voluntary. We all did it. We were all volunteering. And um, so as a thank you, we were treated to a nice meal. I know, it was amazing. I had the best chicken burger ever. It was so good. And then I did some wrapping because as you all know, it's almost Christmas. So I did some wrapping, I've got a few presents. I think I've got two presents left to do and then that's it, I'm done. Can I just tell you all now, I've just started my Christmas shopping last week and I've done it all already. That's the way to do it. Usually I'm really organised. I usually start my Christmas shopping like sometimes in November at the latest, but yeah. I've usually got all of my presents by now and I can just relax, but I haven't got anything because of placement and everything. I've just been busy, so I sort of panicked and I've gone out and just panic bought things. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully people will like their little gifts that I've got them. But yeah, I've got a few. And then today I had a really interesting day so I got the opportunity I was asked by the university along with some other students they wanted some students from different fields so they wanted radiographers midwifery child learning disabilities mental health adult nursing speech and language therapy all that jazz they wanted someone from every um, field to go and speak to the Department of Health and Social Care that's right that's who we were speaking to and it was all about how they can improve the nursing intake and how the bursary has affected us basically because as some of you may or may not know the bursary has been cut as of September 2017 so since then there has been a little bit of a drop rate in students which we all knew was going to happen as soon as they announced it everybody said me and my friends we all said that's not going to help the admission rates, not at all. So, and there has been a bit of a drop. So I think they are looking into it from what I can gather. They are looking into getting us funding back for nursing, fingers crossed. So we all, anyway, we all sat in there in the board and um, we were just told, you know what, just be brutally honest, give us everything you've got. So I was like, okay, let's do this. So, you know, I wanted to be that voice for the people that from September 2017 have to pay for their course now, that have to pay themselves to work. I think it's disgusting. I'm really, really lucky. I'm fortunate that I got in there just before they cut the bursary. I do get my bursary, the course fees, fees are, are paid, but even that, even that's not enough, guys. I get, with my bursary, 450 a month, and then student loan on top of that, I get that works out about 199 a month if you split it up so I get about 650 maximum a month to live on that's that doesn't even cover my bills my rent and everything I physically have to work and do bank shifts to cover my food and to actually live okay that's just me but at least I don't have to pay that back I mean, I have to pay the student loan part back, but even then that's not going to be a lot. But I wanted to be that voice because I have got friends that are starting the nursing degree from that just started in September and going to be starting in January. And I wanted to be that voice for them. I wanted to be that voice for every single student that has to pay themselves to work. It's just, it's disgusting. They're classing nursing as the same as other professions. And fair enough, all healthcare professions 
that you have to physically go out and work should be paid for you should be paid for that work they say okay your class is supernumerary you're just there to learn and get the experience but do you know what you tell me have you ever been classed as supernumerary nurses out there you're not classed as supernumerary you have to physically get your sleeves rolled up and you have to stuck in and that's the best way for me to learn i love that i'm not complaining i love getting stuck in i don't care about um being supernumerary like i'm just there i get stuck in i absolutely love it and i wouldn't change it for the world but you at the same time you are there to learn you're there to train you have to you know your mentor has to explain things to you go through things to, with you show you all these things and it just doesn't happen most days there will be a day where they're fully staffed and they've got the time to do that but because of the staff shortages and everything now they haven't got time nobody's got time to go through things and train you properly like they should be so yes i got my voice out and i stood up for you all i tried and tried my hardest to get the funding back the good news is i think they are looking at getting some form of payment or funding back for nursing because they do realize it's a problem and they've got to do something they have to do something because the way it's going we're going to have no nurses left and they're going to really really struggle it's it's not good do you know what the students that do do it and they are paying is because they love it they love it they want to be a nurse so bad and you can see the passion in the hearts and the fire in the eyes and they're just amazing and that's why they do it that's why they're just putting up with it because that's what they want to do but it's not fair i don't think it's fair i don't think anybody thinks it's fair that you have to pay yourself to work it's it's not good so i do think that something needs to be done i think even if you keep the course fees but pay for placements when you go on a placement you should be paid a proper wage like you deserve and i'm hoping to god that matt hancock the secretary of state for health please something's got to be done because this isn't good so yes yeah, so we all gave them our honest completely genuine opinions and we showed them what we really do as student nurses radiographers speech and language therapy midwives we told them exactly what to do they wrote all of our feedback down and they said they would feed it back and discuss it i suppose whatever happens from here who knows but hopefully they're going to get the funding back i pray that they do this but we'll see we'll see what comes of it something's got to though so yeah, so that was a really exciting day today. I'm really glad I had the opportunity to do that. It's not every day you get an opportunity to speak to the Department of Health and Social Care, so that was amazing. And it was nice just to sit and talk and talk about something that you're passionate about and actually have a voice heard. So I'm really, I'm really grateful I had that opportunity. It was really interesting. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow I'm on my bank shift, half past 12 till seven. Yeah, half past 12 till seven, I'm on my bank shift in my one of my favorite places, sexual health. As you all know, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna be working with some amazing people. I think that's why I love sexual health as well is because I work with such an, an amazing team who I absolutely love and we all get on and we just have laughs at work, it's great and the patients are just nine times out of ten absolutely lovely so it's good i can't wait and then the really exciting news is from saturday until tuesday i'm going to be in amsterdam i'm so excited i've never been to amsterdam but i've wanted to go for a while now because it looks really picturesque with the canal and the trees and the bikes and it just looks amazing and i'm going to go to the anne frank house the van gogh house because as you all know i love sunflowers i've got sunflowers everywhere so i really love sunflowers so i'm going to see the original sunflower painting oh can't wait i might shed a little tear because it's beautiful and actually the sunflowers where the sunflowers my love for sunflowers came from was that when i was 16 and we were doing our gcses um i did art was i picked art as one of my gcses because i was quite creative and all that jazz so i decided to draw the van gogh um sunflowers for my final piece and i just drawing that and having a look at sunflowers and the sort of interpretation of sunflowers and things like that i just i fell in love with sunflowers i feel like i've just said that word 101 times i'm really sorry <laughs> but i just love them i just love how they they're, they're like me they grow tall they're tall and skinny with with just so much fun in their eyes 
but they're just happy happy flowers when you look at a sunflower all you think is happiness they always have the face towards the light they follow the sun round and let the shadows fall behind them and that's my main love for sunflowers they're just beautiful they make my day so i'm really looking forward to that i'm really looking forward to exploring amsterdam exploring the markets there's a few places that we want to go and see i'm going with my friend naz i didn't say that i'm going with my friend naz um me and naz went to prague at the start of the year and that was amazing so it's going to be really nice to do another little city break i'm so excited and just i get off my phone is going off guys i'm off social media i'm off everything between saturday and tuesday that's it I mean, I'll probably upload pictures in the evening when I settle down for the night, but that's it. I'm, I'm having a break from social media because I am drained and I need to relax and chill out and have this much needed rest that I've been waiting for and I can't wait. And just a, a, a little tip from me, I never check in bags. I always take on hand luggage because I hate the whole check-in process and then you have to wait for your suitcase at the end and then what if it gets lost no so i usually take a little cabin bag when i go on holiday and squeeze everything into it and hope that it's in the weight limit so yeah so i'm really excited for amsterdam i can't wait to show you all i'm gonna vlog when i'm there i said i'm off social media but i am gonna vlog i'm gonna take some videos i'm gonna take some pictures because i'm taking my camera um, it's also the christmas light festival so that's gonna be absolutely beautiful i can't wait to experience that and see it it's gonna be amazing so yeah so that's it that's it for this week i don't feel like i've actually talked very much but that's it for this week i'm thinking next week i will post next sunday i will post actually today's gonna be sunday for you so as i'm speaking here now from the past you're here in the future on a sunday i'm going to be in amsterdam probably exploring a marketplace or something while you watch this or asleep depending on what time i put a schedule this probably schedule this for 6 a.m so i'll be asleep and so i'll be in amsterdam in another time zone so think of me in amsterdam asleep in my bed that's what i'm doing right now yeah so next week i'll post the vlog of amsterdam and how i'm getting on that'll be next week's vlog and then the week after, I might start doing some vlogs about sexual health. Leave a comment below if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Would you like to know more about sexual health and where the area I work in sexual health? Because I'm really, really passionate about sexual health and I love spreading the message. And I like, because I've been there for nearly five years now, it'll be five years in March. And I've learned so much and I feel like I've got so much to give to other people, like my knowledge and wisdom from there, that one particular area to other people. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some sexual health vlogs and just show you how amazing sexual health is to work in. Um, another area of nursing that you can go into when you're qualified, it's not all about the wards. Um, and I'll probably dispel the myths of sexual health. I'm going to give you some tips and hints and the STI rates and all of that jazz. It's going to be really informative. But if you're going to find that boring and dull, then I probably won't do it. Or I might save it for a different time to do it, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. If you'd like me to talk about that and show you what I do at work, just let me know. And yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But I've got a few vlog other vlogs as well that I'm going to schedule as well. Um, so probably going to do a revision tip vlog, surviving night shifts. I might incorporate surviving night shifts with surviving a 12 hour shift placement, maybe one of the two. Um, I've still got my DVT stockings one to do. I haven't found a victim yet to do this with and just everyone's just busy, manic, manic busy. So it's hard to track anybody down um so yeah so i've got a few vlogs anyway lined up so just watch this space for those but for now have an amazing sunday guys have a great week and i shall see you next sunday when i'm back refreshed recharged and ready to go from amsterdam